everyone, it's Sarah. So, it's the end of the year, and people are making a lot of videos with their favorite books or favorite movies. So, I thought I would do a quick little video talking about my favorites in the category of books, movies, music, and TV shows. So, I'm just gonna tell you three things in each category. These are in no particular order. One book that I absolutely loved in 2015 was Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I read this one earlier in the year and it was one of those classics that for some reason I had never read before. It was an excellent read. I love the character of Jane Eyre. I think she is such a strong, well-developed female character especially for this time period, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. Another book that I absolutely loved was Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. I really enjoyed the whole series. I did enjoy Winter. I did not love it as much as I expected to. Cress is still my favorite book from the series. These are science fiction fairy tale retellings. This one is based on Rapunzel, and Cress is definitely my favorite character in the whole series. One of Marissa Meyer's strengths as a writer, I think, is her character development, and the characters that she creates are just really likable, and I love most of the characters in this series. And another book that I really enjoyed this year was The Walls Around Us by Nova Rinsuma. Now some of you might think I am biased because I did go to a writing residency with Nova Rinsuma in November. However, when I read this book, it was before I actually met Nova Rinsuma. And yes, meeting her did make me maybe enjoy her books a little more just because she is such a lovely person. But... This book, I could not put down. I read it in one sitting. It's been described as Orange is the New Black meets Black Swan. It has a lot of great character development, a lot of twists and turns, and I think it was just really well done. Okay, so music. I actually did a video earlier this month with my top 10 favorite albums of 2015. I will link to that here if you want to check it out. But I'm going to talk about three songs that were not on that list. The first one is Revolt by Muse. Muse came out with a new album this year, which I was pretty excited about. Did not quite live up to my expectations, but I really enjoyed this song. It has a lot of the energy that I really loved from their albums like The Resistance. The next song I'm going to talk about is Afraid of Ghosts by Butch Walker. Butch Walker is a kind of rocker guy from Atlanta. He was in a band here called The Marvelous Three back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I was absolutely obsessed with them in middle school and high school. After that band, he kind of did a solo thing, and, and all of his albums are very upbeat and very rock. This album that he came out with this year is, is mostly acoustic, sort of mellow, sort of more personal, more intimate, and this is the first track on the album, and I really think that his songwriting is beautiful on this track. And the third song that I'm going to talk about is Kid Gloves by Hey Rosetta. This is a band I just discovered this year. Their album is really solid. Um, they're kind of, you know, an indie rock sort of alternative-esque band, and I really love the energy of this song. I love the way that he sings it, and it's one of those that just got stuck in my head. Alright, so on to movies. I'm sure most of you by now have seen the latest Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, which I have already seen twice in the theaters, and I absolutely loved it. A lot of people are saying that it was too much like the first Star Wars, but, you know, that doesn't bother me because I really think, I mean, if you look at movies, books, plays, TV shows, 
There are only so many stories and people keep recycling them over and over again. It's not really about the story as much anymore as it is about the way in which you tell it and the characters. And I feel like the newest Star Wars movie was just really well done. I will say everyone in my family went to see it together on Christmas Eve. Me and my parents and my two brothers. We are all completely different people and all five of us liked that movie. Which cannot be said about a lot of movies. Another favorite movie of mine this year was Mockingjay Part 2. This was the last film in the Hunger Games series. I did not love the last two films as much as I enjoyed the first two films. The last book that it was based on was probably my least favorite book of the three, and I really did not feel that it was necessary to make the last book two movies, and I felt like the last two kind of dragged for that reason in some parts. But having said all that, I still really enjoyed seeing this movie and I enjoyed finally seeing the whole story of, you know, The Hunger Games and Katniss come to a conclusion. And another favorite movie that I saw in 2015 was Inside Out. I just watched this again. My brother got me the Blu-ray for Christmas and it is impossible for me to watch this movie and not cry. I love this movie. I think it really says a lot about emotions and it's also kind of a fun movie, you know? So it's, it's entertaining but it has some depth. And those are the kind of movies that I love. And last, I'm going to talk about my favorite TV shows in 2015. First one I'm going to talk about is Once Upon a Time. I had not seen Once Upon a Time before this year and earlier, probably in the summer or the spring, me and my boyfriend binge watched all of the seasons that were out on Netflix and I absolutely fell in love with the characters and just the way that they weave the fairy tales in with the modern world. Some of this past season, especially the very end, was a little questionable to me. I have some issues with that, especially what they did to Rumpelstiltskin, who is my favorite character. But still, it was definitely one of my favorite shows of the year. Another one of my favorite shows of this year was Outlander. Outlander is a show on stars. It's about a woman in the 1940s who is in Scotland and she time travels back to the 1700s. This is based on the book series by Diana Gabaldon, which my mom is absolutely obsessed with. So of course, you know, she got us all to watch the show and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. If you're really into the kind of historical drama, I guess, with a little bit of a paranormal element. There's a very strong romance in this show, obviously. That's what most people are attracted to, I think. But overall, it's just, it's just really well done. And the last show that was my favorite show in 2015 is The Walking Dead. Okay, I never ever thought I would say this about a zombie show, my mom and my little brother have been obsessed with The Walking Dead ever since it's been on and I've seen bits and pieces from when they've been watching it and I swear every time I walked by and they happened to be watching it something really gross was happening and so I would always say, you know, I'm never going to watch the show, what are you guys watching, this is crazy. I'm not a big zombie person, I'm not a big horror person. I'm not a big gory kind of person. I watched one episode this season where something happened to pretty much the only character that I kind of knew from the little bits and pieces that I had seen and then I got emotionally attached. So then I discovered they were all on Netflix and so I went back and binge watched 
all of The Walking Dead. Yes, there are zombies. Yes, it is kind of gross in some parts. There are some scenes that I fast forwarded and I did not even watch. <laughs> But the character development is really solid, and the characters, you just get really emotionally attached to them, which is pretty inconvenient because a lot of them die. Alright, so those are my favorites from 2015. What about you? What books did you love? What movies? What TV shows? What music? I would love to know about it, so let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about music, books, or writing. And until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.